boondocking. Boondocking means camping for free on land that is not supposed to be, well, not like formally a camping area, but I have a feeling this is BLM land. BLM, not Black Lives Matter, but Bureau of Land Management. Uh, it is federally owned land. Hey, there's poop. Federally owned land, and people kind of, you know, do as they wish on, on the land. Um, just walking by these guys, cool adventure bus. Um, I believe it is called Mountain Biking. Morning! Mountain Biking the States. If anybody knows who that is, Mountain Biking the States. Also, Washington Plates. Cool. I'm gonna fly the drone and show you guys exactly where we slept last night. Because this is freaking awesome. Oh, there's a neighbor over there. And over there. Nice guy over there. I think a little campsite over there. Like I said, public land. Free to camp on it for <clears throat> uh, three or seven days. I forget which one. Those both could be in, uh, uh, incorrect. <laughs> wasn't exactly good. The drone just fell out of the sky and I'm not really sure why but there is the camera part and there is the drone part and that's broken. Um, it did have a warning about a uh, low battery temperature. Not really sure what that meant but apparently this is the result of low battery temperature. So anyways that sucks. Thanks DJI for making a battery and drone that can't even handle a 50 degree morning in the middle of nowhere. So, just glad I wasn't standing under it. Maybe that's why they require FCC licenses for drones. I'm just still out of the sky. Yeah. Oh I'm goodness. just glad I wasn't standing under it. I am too. Sorry. You know what? As Nietzsche says, oh my God. shit happens. You guys ever seen the movie The Gods Must Be Crazy? Today kind of feels like that. Well, at least this morning. For now, we're gonna go uh, find somewhere to poop and uh, get a coffee in no particular order. Particular order. I stand corrected. My people. Looks like people of Sedona, maybe the ones who uh, live the van life, uh, camp out here. Uh, there is a bathroom over there. Uh, it's just right down the road from where we kind of parked. Um, Great little spot. All right, we are uh, at Whole Foods. Tsunami has to poop. I gotta poop too. Happy? This could be quite possibly the most beautiful road I've ever been on in my life. Look at those rocks right there. I forgot where we're going, but we're going somewhere, and I know it's beautiful, because that's what it said on the map. We just entered a uh, primitive road. We got about two miles to go, and uh, it's gonna be slow and steady and damn the adventure bus because we got some uh, some bumps and rocks in the road ahead here. Hopefully, I don't have another rocket uh, stuck between the dual rear tires. That's a tongue twister. Dual rear tires. Dual rear tires. Dual rear river. So we've been on the road for the bumpy road for maybe 20 minutes or so. And we've got another four miles to go and we're going about 15 miles per hour, so. But however, on the bright side, it's freaking beautiful out here. Halatiki. Uh, correction. Halatiki is 1.5 miles away. Hananki is 4.5. That means we got like five more minutes. If you've ever wondered if you could offer a school bus, the answer is yes, you can. Palatki Heritage Site. 
Palatki, Palatki Heritage site. All right, this time, I made sure to put my pass on the dash. What a parking spot. I think this might be my favorite one yet. <coughs> oh, by the way, peanut butter sandwich. I need to stand at least 25 feet away from this one because she doesn't like my chomping noises. So, we're at the Palatki ruins and there's a bunch of information there. Let's go take a peek. And, and the door. We uh, decided to jump into a tour group, which is the first one of this trip so far. But actually pretty interesting stuff, and uh, I'll relay some of that interesting stuff to you guys in a little bit. This is so beautiful. The closer we get to the rock, the more kind of moist it seems. There's I almost said ferns. There's moss and some other stuff, and uh, we're getting closer to the edge of the cliff. Hopefully, Jim the Ranger dude can tell us some interesting stuff. So it has briefly started to rain a little bit here. I almost thought about getting a. Um, umbrella, but uh, I thought, yeah, let's let's take my chances here. And now I'm kind of regretting. It. It is. Yeah, that, that was the Sonagua's favorite. Too. All those ancient cultures. <laughs> well, it was, it's actually volcanic glass. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes. And it would, um, they could fashion the tools, shape, uh, flake off. See, they would use a stone like this. This is, this is actually a core stone of chert. That was, the same as that yeah, that's what this is. This mm -hmm. is chert, that's chert. Um, Take a stone like this, and then with another hard stone, you come down on the edge and, and shear shale. off flakes. Because they kind of shale off, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, it'd yeah. be like stuff like this. You know, thin. But they would do that until they got just the right shape, thickness, uh, for whatever tool they were trying to make. So, because it's been raining, this uh, water hall, waterfall has literally formed in the past 20 minutes or so, resulting in some runoff. It's so cool! Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> and Jim was saying this is probably where water would be kept year-round or most... Yep, this is where they source most of their water. Yeah, yeah you can... Uh, just five seconds ago, look, right now it's just starting to get even more intense right there. Yeah. With the noise. So this is probably like a catching pool down here? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a plunge pool, which is a natural uh, phenomenon, but... Um, whether it had a containment, natural containment, or uh, if it didn't, then they certainly would have built one. Mm -hmm. So there may have been a, a berm here at some point. It, it literally is like someone turned the faucet on because it, it keeps getting noisier and noisier and bigger and bigger. So <laughs> we better get our move on. Well, as you may or may not be able to tell, it's uh, raining, <laughs> and uh, not sure how waterproof my jacket is, but I'm still warm for now. And uh, next, we're gonna go to some uh, hieroglyphic uh, locations inside here, which is really close. The cliff dwellings are over there. The hieroglyphics are over here somewhere. And uh, we got Jim leading the way. So, guys, just came across what is called a prickly pear fruit. Uh, in Spanish, it's called tuna. A little bit confusing it's not a fish obviously but the leaves of this the baby leaves at least are harvested and those are called nopalitos or nopales and those are primarily like a southwestern slash mexican 
uh, kind of food, which you can find in some Hispanic markets and stuff like that. And they're actually really tasty. They're super mild. They're kind of like a um, like a zucchini without the zucchini taste. Like a well, that wouldn't taste like a zucchini then. You know the friendliest kind of ancient paintings they're called. Hi, hieroglyphics. You have three human-like figures, roughly around a thousand years old, done in this kind of yellowish uh, appearance. Here we have the donkey from Shrek. <laughs> of course, they don't have domesticated animals, so probably not a donkey. What I find interesting on this, though, is look at the perspective. There's rear legs and front legs. <laughs> to mention was this cliff drawing right here which resembles a what you tell me I'll give you a hint it's not a male cool we got so much info and we got like the, the hidden info of the primitive Pied Piper which I just zoomed in on which is right there and we got a low battery so, this may or may not have been the Venice Beach graffiti walls of the olden times, of the caveman times. Alright, battery's changed, we're back in the bus, Sunam is eating, tea is brewing, life is good. Uh, we're gonna head out of here, and who knows, it's still kinda early, it's 2 o'clock. So, we may or may not tackle something else, how's your foot? So we've been driving a couple miles on this dirt road and we uh, just passed in a semi here with a pretty delicate load. I don't know if I'd want to drive down this road with all that stone on there. Oh, it looks like they're making a delivery. There's a couple of houses out here even though it is uh, national forest land. Not really sure how that works, but uh, they exist. Probably really expensive. <laughs> Pulled over for a quick uh, Instagram mission. Gotta say, Dan the Adventure Bus is looking pretty darn adventurous because we're off road and we got it all dirty with these uh, nice new tires that we put on there. Look at that. <laughs> that is uh, part of Sedona that I'll be taking home with me. And uh, I picked up a pet uh, in Sedona also, yes? Petroglyph. What? Petroglyph. So, guys, this is my skate. Um, and this is uh, Tsunami. You guys met her, I think. And the Adventure Bus, and this is beautiful Sedona. I'm gonna go for a little skate down the hill in the rain. You, Sedona Barrel. So slippery. What's your favorite color? Well, yellow, <laughs> duh. <laughs> What's your favorite sandwich? Uh, burrito. <laughs> There's some really gnarly wind, kind of like uh, when I was in New Mexico, so it's blowing me all around. It's pretty, pretty intense. I'm not really a big fan of uh, 
intense wind like this. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got such a high profile vehicle, it just tosses me all over the road. Uh, unfortunately, there are a couple uh, cars that flipped over right here. That's super scary. Hope everybody's alright. There's all kinds of uh, airbags deployed. And uh, yeah, hope everyone is alright right there. That looked pretty intense. Uh, no joke, when, uh, when the weather is bad, feel free to drive extra slow. I mean, I do. I go real slow in this thing when it's uh, raining or extra windy or something like that and that's just, uh, it's not worth it. Wherever you're going in a hurry, not worth it. So we have pulled over at another uh, boondocking location. <coughs> this one just happens to be the side of the road uh, behind a couple sand, I don't know, hills, berms, dunes, not dunes. Look at a couple of dump sites. Um, I don't know if you can see this right now. Probably not. But it is snowing outside. Um, I think the low is supposed to be like 30 degrees or something like that. Um, and we're literally <laughs> next to nothing about uh, 50 yards from the highway, um, just kind of tucked away. And um, yeah, uh, can't really tell if the snow is sticking, but we will find out tomorrow, that's for sure. And uh, in tomorrow's vlog, I will show you exactly where we parked. Um, and we are again in the middle of absolutely nowhere, and it feels terrific. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Get your grandma to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.